Basic medical sciences, welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about the femoral hernia. Right, before we do that, uh, let's go through uh, the femoral triangle, trigonum femorale. Right, so this triangle is bounded superiorly by the inguinal ligament. So this is the base of the triangle. Laterally, there is sartorius muscle. And medially, there is um, adductus longus muscle. And this is the apex of the triangle. The floor is known as the uh, iliopectineal fossa. Iliopectineal fossa. Right. Um, this tri in this triangle, you find uh, the femoral nerve, femoral artery, and the femoral vein. You also find uh, lymphatics, right? So there is a sheath here. This sheath is called the femoral sheath, right? All right, you can see it here, right? So you can see what's inside this sheath. Uh, uh, femoral branch of the genital femoral nerve, femoral artery, femoral vein, and the lymph node of cloquet or rosmola, right? Okay. Perfect. Now let's look at the surgical anatomy of the femoral canal. Right. Under normal circumstances, um, the femoral canal does not exist. There is only a narrow opening in the medial corner of the lacuna vasorum, known as the femoral ring. The femoral ring is bounded uh, by anteriorly inguinal ligament, posteriorly by the fascia over the pectineous muscles, right? The iliopectineal ligament of Cooper, uh, the pubic bone and the fascia of uh, pectineus are all posterior, right? Medially, there is lacunar ligament or Gimbanet's ligament and laterally, there is femoral vein, right? You can see this um, femoral ring, right? I'm talking about femoral ring because under normal circumstances, the canal is not there. So in yellow, just to replace this canal and say it's a ring, right? So you can see the inguinal ligament here, the pectineous muscle, the femoral vein here in blue, and the lacunar ligament here, right? So um, let's look at what happens if there is uh, like any disturbances, if there is any protrusion through this uh, femoral ring, it will be transformed into a femoral canal, right? So the canal is uh, 1.25 centimeters, maybe to up to three centimeters long and 1.25 centimeters wide, right? And below it is closed by the cribriform fascia, right? So uh, the femoral ring is the, we can say it's the inlet, the outlet, is this of uh, this um hiatus for the uh, great femoral vein this one right that's the outlet right okay so this canal is at uh, the following walls lateral wall is formed by the femoral vein posterior wall is formed by the deeper layer of fascia lata femoris uh, anterior wall is formed by the superficial layer of fascia lata femoris and the medial wall is formed by the fusion of the superficial and the deep layer of fascia lata femoris right so these are the borders or the walls of the femoral canal right and the canal normally contains fat lymphatics and the lymph node of cloquet or rosmola right a femoral hernia emerges through the femoral canal and may be felt as a soft swelling below and lateral to the pubic tubercle. It is a protrusion of peritoneum through the femoral canal below which emerges uh, subcutaneously. It protrudes through the femoral canal. The hernia sac descends down vertically up to the saphenous opening where it escapes out into the loose areola tissue to expand like a retort. Because of its irregular pathway and narrow neck, 
it is uh, more prone to obstruction and strangulation. And during surgery, precaution should be taken uh, about the femoral vein, the pubic branch of the obturator or the accessory obturator artery, which often may get injured, leading to torrential hemorrhage. Right, so these images demonstrate uh, different causes of femoral hernia. Right, so if you look here on the first one, uh, the cause of hernia or sick through the femoral ring, femoral canal, and fossa ovalis. Right, so this is the uh, femoral hernia. Right, this is the sick. If you look here, uh, it's just turned to this side. Uh, and here, this one is actually a bilocular sick. Right, uh, is 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 bilocular because of the obturator artery, right? So it's because of this artery, right? Let's talk about the clinical features. What causes this this femoral hernia? Uh, wide femoral canal and multiple pregnancies. And this hernia is more it, it most okay in females because of a wider pelvis, right? So, um, in during before puberty in females is very rare, and twenty percent okay bilaterally. Uh, however, is more common on the right side, right? So here I just wanted to show you. This is the femoral hernia, right? So on the lateral side, you can see the femoral vein and the lacunar ligament, right? So this is the hernia sac. The femoral hernia presents as a swelling in the groin that is below and lateral to the pubic tubercle, right? So this is the difference between uh, femoral hernia and inguinal hernia. Inguinal hernia is above and medial to the pubic tubercle. Impulse on coughing, reducibility, gurgling sound during reduction, dragging pain, are the usual features of this hernia. When obstruction and strangulation okay uh, in 40% of the cases, it will present as painful, tender, inflamed, irreducible swelling without any impulse, uh, abdominal distension, vomiting, features of toxicity, right? So all these may be present in case of obstruction and strangulation. Often on the medial side, a portion of blood forms the wall of the femoral hernia sac, right? It's called sliding femoral hernia. Often, the femoral hernia can also be associated with inguinal hernia. There is a sign known as a gold sign, right? So this is a distension of the superficial epigastric and or circumflex iliac veins uh, which occur due to the pressure by the hernia of sac, right? Go sign. Uh, another condition that can occur is hydrocele of the femoral hernia. And this occurs when adherent omentum, which is the contents, secretes the fluid into the hernia of sac. Herniation through a gap in the lacunar ligament is always strangulated and is called Logias femoral hernia, logias femoral hernia, LL, all right, uh, L for lacuna, right, okay. In uh, congenital dislocation of the hip, femoral hernia occurs behind the femoral vessels and is called uh, narad femoral hernia. If the hernia sac lies under the pectineal fascia, it is called the cloquets hernia. In differential diagnosis, you need to think of the following. Inguinal hernia, enlarged cloquets, lymph node of any cause, source abscess, femoral aneurysm, distended psoas bursa, right? So this one actually disappears on uh, hip flexion. Safena varix. So with Safena varix, this is an enlarged terminal portion of the long Safena's vein. It is soft, it disappears on lying down, um, fluid trail, impulse on coughing, and venous harm on auscultation are present. 
and is also associated with the presence of uh, varicose veins on the legs. You also need to think of uh, hematoma in the groin. For management, because femoral hernias are most likely to lead to strangulation than inguinal hernia, they should always be repaired without delay, right? So the trusses, right, which we used in inguinal hernia should not be used in femoral hernia. Surgically, the hernia may be approached from below, known as the femoral approach, from above via the inguinal canal, it's called lothesen approach, and from the rectus abdominis muscle, it's called McEvidis approach. All right, okay. Uh, so here in green, you can see it green here. That's a uh, McEvidis approach. All right, uh, and here is a uh, Lothesen approach. And this one is a Lockwood approach. All right, okay. So uh, these are just labels of uh, femoral hernia on number one mm, here. And a femoral vein in blue, if you can see it, femoral artery or uh, in red. Uh, you can also see the femoral nerve here in yellow. Um, here you can see the lacunar ligament on number five. And on number six, there is corpus ligament here. Right. Okay. The contents of the hernial sac are emptied and the sac is excised. And the femoral canal is obliterated with three interrupted non-absorbable sutures. Polypropylene mesh can be buttressed over the femoral canal to close the hernial defect. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please make sure you subscribe. Uh, give it a thumbs up. 